Most AI written SEO content will never rank at the first page of Google search results. This AI automation changes everything and I'll show you exactly how to build it step by step. But first, let me give you a quick overview of what it actually does. So this AI agent takes in a search query or a keyword, searches the web to get the top three already ranking else, then scrapes its content, summarizes it to see what actually is working on Google search for this keyword. Based on that, writes a superior blog post humanizes it, which most AI tools don't do, then even generates an image plus before it saves it into your Google Drive folder for you to further process or immediately publish. So let me show you exactly how I built it. First, get your chat trigger, great. Then start getting an HTTP request. In here, change this to post, then head over to Rapid API to get your Google search API, which doesn't cost you anything. You just check out the free plan, subscribe, it's important you have to subscribe, otherwise it won't work. Then on the actual page, we have to utilize the query parameter, the limits, which we will limit to free. First, head over here to the URL and copy this URL up to the question mark. Copy, paste in your URL. Next, change your authentication to generic, select header off. Then you have to generate a new API key. Go back to Rapid API. And no worries, I will link the URL to this explicit page. So here you copy this Rapid API key, copy, paste in your Rapid API key as the name, and then the actual API key for that. Copy your key, paste it in, and then save. Then activate or switch the send query parameters. Name is query. And for the value, let me first quickly type in a chat. Testing purposes, paste in, in my case, AI agents for business. Nice. So first of all, pin. Each step for testing purposes, I don't want to run it each and every time. Save it again. Now head back and here you can drag in your chat input. So you can dynamically pass in new keywords in the future. Then add another parameter, which is limit. And then here we type in free, limited to the top three of Google search results for a given keyword. And where you can find these parameters is obviously in Rapid API, right? We have the query params first we passed in in init and our query and limit on default is 10 but i reduced it to three then also toggle in the send headers in send headers we have to go back to rapid api get your x rapid api host back in and the host is exactly as it's given here in rapid api this url copy and paste in now let's execute this step it's a get request change the method and now we get the results great as you can see relevance bcg and sierra now let's pin this too i don't want to waste api calls in the future or in the next steps let me hide this one so now we have an issue right we have to this is a bit of a mess we have to clean or map it to be honest so for that get yourself a code note in here. I paste in my code. You can just stop the video and copy it or check out the link in the description where you will find a link to my school community where I will share all my templates as well as all prompts. So let's rename this, map, execute this step two. And now we have clean separation of the URLs plus titles. Technically you can get rid of the titles. We, don't, we just need the URLs, but yeah, let's leave it in. And let me pin this too. Now, Next, we have an issue. We can't just run n at n once and then it will scrape all three. We have to loop through each URL. For that, get a loop node, loop over items. Get this one. Leave the default settings. Delete this one and attach a new HTTP request. Now in here, change this to post. This time it's definitely post. Now, here's the issue. I made a video in the past where I built this SEO system or a simpler version of it to go through all three files and script its content. But that just works if it's a static page. If one of those URLs is a dynamically loaded, so it takes a little bit of time and if you're a programmer, you know what it means. If it's a dynamically loaded page, it will break. So for that, I will show you how to build a more advanced system, right? For that, head over to Epify to get a scraper. For that purpose, I will use Puppeteer Scraper in here. Go to Integrations, scroll all the way down, use API endpoints, and here select the third one, run actor synchronously and get dataset items. 
here you just copy it it will automatically also include your api key or token in this case right just copy that back to nn and then you paste your appify url in then scroll down to send body and change this to JSON using JSON below and using json now enlarge this and paste in this bit of code you can adjust yours to however you want it basically go back to appify and down here you can adjust the code in my case i did that so it's universal it will scrape different pages again check out the link in the description if you just want to skip the manual build and just download my template now let's execute this step so this will take a minute you can go to runs and see it will actually crawling those pages puppeteer takes always a little bit so don't be surprised if it might take a minute or so great if you open the loop you see our urls with its content scrape whether they are static so easy html to scrape or they are dynamically loaded which we don't know in this case right i didn't check them individually but that's a common error if you encounter a search or keyword in which those top three ranking urls are dynamically loaded so let me pin this too i don't want to rerun this at the end and always remember to save each milestone great now if done which we scrape the raw content of the urls we have to loop again through all three urls so get yourself again a new loop node let me get that up here delete this and in here get another code node let's rename this to ex extract and clean content enlarge the code field and then copy my code if you like what we are here doing is basically just we get raw html code right it's messy there are a lot of h tags and p tags and so on so we have to get rid of those so we can pass clean code or uh, sorry my bad clean text to the llm rather than just passing random html nodes which could confuse it to a certain degree although the models are pretty good nowadays great loop this through the loop and if done we have to get another code node and this time we concatenate all the results from all three scraped urls we just add it all together and say later in the next step to the llm hey check out this content we have to not copy it but make a better reuse this factual information that google proved to be valuable and ranked it on top three to create a new post or blog post out of it. So let's rename it, concatenate, save, and then let's execute it. Now we have one, one big combined body text, which we can now pass to the LLM to further process. So here you can start getting an AI agent or a OpenAI node, doesn't matter in here, a message model. Let's get my OpenAI keys, text for model, um, for production, I would definitely use a better model, but for testing, it's fine to use a yeah, 4.1 mini. It's just fine. And next, change it to expression, enlarge, and paste in our prompt. So it's a risen-based prompt. Roll, uh, steps, the input, the end goal, as well as the narrowing. And then here we pass in the combined body text from the previous node. Let's execute. Let's rename this to summary agent great now we can just duplicate this one connect it change the name seo writer again for testing purposes mini is fine and now let's change the prompt you can experiment with the prompt the way you want it to have and in my case i use again my model my prompt uh, you are an experienced seo content right yada yada great let's execute this one too great let's pin this too i don't want to run them later again just to save some api costs then next step duplicate this again connect pin this time we have to humanize our ai written seo content right since you certainly have noticed seo written or chat gpt written content is usually has some m dashes and words and terms that are not commonly used that just screams a hey, it's ai written right so humanize content model the same we just change the prompt again takes the past notes output you are skilled human like writer assistant has to transform blog content to highly engaging emphatic and conversational written and so on stop the video and copy mine execute this step too great save this too and then we want compared to my past video i and this time i want also to create a image for our blog post so for that we have to take the written blog post and turn it into a image prompt for that let's duplicate this one too and 
rename it to image prompt agent, change the prompt. In my case, simple, right? We want the content or the output from the humanized content agent to be passed in here and read the block and create a yeah image prompt. So we can pass it to our image model to generate a suitable image for our blog post. Let's execute this one too. Now to generate the image, we select a HTTP request node. Here it's a post method, authentication none, send headers. And here for the author, for the header parameters, paste in or type in authorization. And for the value is bearer, which you will get from the API docs, which I will show you. And then here you type in your API key or paste in your API key from OpenAI. Check out the documentation first. And in here you first can, we have to get this URL, which we also have to paste in. As you can see, authorization as the header parameter and then OpenAI token at back. First paste in your URL, then scroll down, send body. And here for the model, then add another parameter. Here it's the prompt. And for the value, get your content from the image prompt agent paste it in or drag it in another parameter for the size. And here in the value, let me check out the documentation. Yeah, that's fine. Let's get the standard regular size as well as for the quality, which in production, I would definitely use high, but for testing purposes, I go with low. So don't expect to get the most crisp image out of this. It's just for testing or building development purposes, right? So now let's execute this step. Oh, my bad. I didn't and your, my API key, let me fix that. Now it should work. Great. Now that we created the image, we have to convert the binary for that, get a convert to file. We use base 64 to basically convert this gibberish to a, to a actual file, right? So we selected the right one, move base 64 string to file. And in here, paste in, drag in the JSON object, date execute. As you can see, the image is obviously low in quality, which is fine. We selected that. Next, we want to save the image into our Google folder, right? I already created a folder in my Google Drive, SEO blog post, copy the URL and get your drive node. And in here, select first upload file, take data. We pass in the data for file name, um, select image and then dot now. So we pass in the timestamp. And for the folder from list, or in my case, from URL, let me paste in my URL, save this. And now we want to also upload the actually written blog post, get another Google Drive node, and in here, select create file from text. And for the right folder, again, paste in your URL, blog post, and again, select now for the time zone you know what let me save this and pin those and then we run it as the final version yeah i saved those api calls so i don't type in and again the search keyword so just execute the whole workflow so as you can see it first takes the concatenated body of raw cleaned text summarizes again for to be llm optimized then passes it to the seo writing agent which takes again a couple of seconds usually then passes it to the human nice content agent, which takes out basically the M dashes and those funny terms that just scream AI written content, right? We dwell in or something like that, right? We all saw it. It's just obviously AI. So that's what we try to yeah, solve with this note. Then out of this humanized written blog post, we just create a image prompt. So the image prompt will be passed to the image node, which will call the GPT image one, the latest image model from OpenAI, which will generate an image. This one takes always up to a minute, although it's low quality, probably less than that. And after that, we have to yeah, optimize it or transform it file. And here we will, it will break. Let me no, it didn't interesting, but we didn't pass in the right humanized content. So we have to has the right content in. Now let's execute this step two individually. And it finished its run. Now in here, we can check out our blog post. And there's the SEO optimized blog post that is based on actually scraped content from already ranking SEO blog posts, which will increase the chance of your blog post to rank. And since all the other URLs we scraped 
already proved that their content is superior and it's worth ranking by Google. So we just try to recreate what they already written with our system within a minute. It writes a SEO optimized blog post to rank your website or your blog post fast. So hope you like this one. Check out the school community if you like to get my template and want to have a community of other AI builders where we share wins and losses so we can learn from each other. So check out the link in the description. See you next time.